For there was lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, my own Morgana. Oh, there was lightning in my blood. Red lightning lightened through my blood, my dark Morgana. What do you think? Uh, pretty good. Yes, I was rather pleased with it myself. Someone should sing that in a rap. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him uh, later. The stand contained postcards, <coughs> pictures of local oh, spots. This looks familiar. And suddenly, there it was. A stack of cards just like the one I found in the condo. I was on the right trail. Can I pick one? I hadn't come here to send postcards. Oh, uh, what's this? Inside the case was a star-shaped gizmo. The little card by it said Elder Sign. Guaranteed proof against elder gods and outer entities. Mm. Could have used that a few years ago. Uh, did you face a god? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Maybe in the first one. Maybe in the first game. I don't know if he was uh, actually a god. I thought the star was cute, but I didn't really need it. These were the kind of books that sat and glowered at you. Casting the runes. The real Eltdown shards. Karnaki, the ghost finder. Karnaki? The air felt cold near them. I didn't want any of the books. Not my idea of a holiday read. Holiday read? Uh... This is a star? Uh. Well, I guess that's all that we can uh, we can interact with. Let's go ahead and talk to to this hippie. The guy looked like the world's uptightest hippie. Um, nah, I don't think. <laughs> Not a fan of his shirt. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Welcome to the Cosmic Fairy. I am Tristram Hillage, the proprietor. May I help you? I hope so. Tristan. Uh. Do you know about uh, Madame Zazi? What do you make of that fortune teller? Madame Zazi? Very traditional. Crystal ball, tea leaves, tarot, the usual. Tarot? I thought people, you know, spell it uh, tarot, or, you know, pronounce it tarot. Tarot, not tarot. Which is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Omara? You say you had trouble getting this published? Publishers? Ha! Philistines, the lot of them. What you need is to raise your profile. Advertise, you mean? Oh, I can't afford that. How about a little spot on the BBC? Eamon O'Mara's new show? That would be marvelous. Oh, but impossible, of course. Ah, don't worry. Eamon and I go, oh, way, way back. At least five minutes. Want me to have a word with him? He's right here in Glastonbury. Would you do that? Uh... Oh, thanks. Thanks awfully. I'll need to show him some of your work. Yes, of course. Here, take a copy. I'm sure he'll love your stuff. Uh, okay, well, I guess we... Uh, got a book for him. Gotta check it out uh, later after I finish. Conversing with him a little bit. No, what about yourself? Tristram. I thought it was Tristan. Tristram. What a weird name. Tristram Hillage. How's business? Rather good, actually. Seems quiet. Really? You just missed the rush. What kind of people shop in a place like this, anyway? People with open minds. Mm. Do you keep your mind open to new possibilities? Oh, constantly. Some of the things I'd seen, I'd be a fool not to. Mm. About the tour? I guess Glastonbury's a pretty mystical place. Almost too mystical to bear. 
Joseph of Arimathea journeyed here. Yeah? The tale of King Arthur, Guinevere and Excalibur finishes here. Wow. And the Tor, that big hill, is the gateway to Avalon, the land of fairy. We also get crop circles, UFO sightings. Uh, in the UK? Is that everything? Well, then there's the ghosts, hellhounds, spectral lights. Okay, okay, it's mystical already. <laughs> I don't know about mystical if you add uh, UFOs to this uh, to all this combination. I don't think he's gonna recognize uh, Chalmondilly. Have you ever seen the guy on this card before? No, I haven't. All right, let's ask him about uh, the postcard. Do you stock these postcards? Yes, one of our exclusive best sellers. Exclusive? Do you supply any of the other shops with these? No, that's what exclusive means. Hmm. Really? I never knew that. Evidently. How else may I illuminate your path? Does the name Bruno mean anything to you? Hmm. Bruno. Bruno. No, I don't think so. Really? Yes, really. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I've never even met anyone called Bruno. You seem very positive. His tone made me immediately suspicious. Hmm. Really? Something tells me you're not on the level. Who is Bruno? Where can I find him? Huh? I don't know who you're talking about. Now get out of my shop, you annoying man. Oh, I'll get out. Once you've answered a few questions. Oh, God. You're not a tax inspector, are you? Hell no. I may be a lawyer, but I still got a few shreds of pride left. <laughs> uh, there was some uh, sort of a uh, creak, so... Someone's up there? Maybe that's Bruno? Are you going to tell me who Bruno is or not? Not. Don't forget, you're dealing with a lawyer here. An American lawyer. <laughs> I can't see our local Bobby being impressed. This guy was going to be a tougher nut to crack than I thought. More about Bruno? I'll give you one last chance to come clean. Get lost. I was getting nowhere. This was why I was in patents and not criminal law. Hmm. How about the sounds? Someone's hey, up there? There's someone moving around up there. Nonsense. It's just an old building. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Bruno's upstairs. No, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> Toilet flush? <laughs> Who's up there? Well, well, this is the poetry book that we got from him. Enchanted Avalon, Lays of a Mystical Age. Portrait book with the coins. The book of poems was by the guy in the Cosmic Fairy. There were silver coins laminated into the cover. Enchanted Avalon, Lays of a Mystical Age. The book of poems was by the guy in the Cosmic Fairy. There were silver coins laminated into the cover. Uh, can I pick up uh, these uh, coins? Maybe I can actually uh, remove them? No? Alright, I guess that's that. And uh, I don't think we'll be able to go up uh, there, right? Hey! Customers are not allowed upstairs! Right. 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 Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. So we have to go and talk to Omar. Uh, maybe we have a new info that we can relay on these people. Hello again. Uh, does he know? I'm gonna leave that uh, to last. Do you know about uh, Zazi? There's a fortune teller up the street. Maybe you could ask her to help you. How so? Well, you know, she could look in the crystal ball, and maybe she. Or, uh, tea leaves. She could read tea leaves. <laughs> or tarot cards. They got, like, cool little pictures. You're a rum sort of a fella, aren't you? Rum. I heard there's a lot of sugar in, uh, in, uh, rum. Okay, the sugar count is really high.
That guy over there looks suspicious to me. Bah! I've seen suspicious, and he isn't it. Oh, so what does suspicious look like? Like Take me? Take a glance in the mirror sometime, oh. young fella. <laughs> uh, what about Tristram? He's definitely suspicious. That's an interesting chap. The Cosmic Fairy. Place is full of woolly-minded liberals and frou-frou socialists. <laughs> so I guess you won't be opening a charge account there. Don't be fatuous. But I've got my eye on the place. That hillage fellow is up to something. Uh, what do you mean? What do you think goes on in there? I've been asking around. He used to rent his spare room out. Claims it's empty now. But I've seen a light on him there after he's gone home. Maybe the little people are having a poker game. Huh. He's harboring somebody. I bet my wife on it. Oh. I bet the dog on it. The dog too? Damn. Well, I guess uh, he mentioned that there is... Uh, s there he definitely said that someone uh, there, at least at night. Uh, Omara? Hi, Eamon. What do you think about Zazi? Have you been in the fortune tellers over there? Now, why would I do a thing like that? To talk to the fortune teller. You well, know, if I wanted my palm read, I'll get my head examined first. You don't seem very open to suggestions for your program. I work best after a couple of stiff drinks. <laughs> All right. When the spots are uh, this full. Have you been in that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Oh yeah, I always go there for me love beads. I was just asking. Love beads? Well, probably that was a sarcastic answer. <laughs> The guy who runs the Cosmic Fairy might be ideal for your show. That old hippie. Oh, I've no time for the 60s. Kaftan stink. Timothy Leary was a turn-off. And I'd rather listen to The Clash than The Beatles any day. I thought you wanted to talk to eccentric characters. <laughs> Hippies aren't eccentric. They're pathetic. I think this guy's got something. Take a read. The Clash? Hmm. Enchanted Avalon. Days of a mystical age. Oh, just what I needed. No, read some. You won't be disappointed. If you say so. For there is lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, my own Morgana. It's not bad, is it? No, it isn't. Oh, there was lightning in my blood, red lightning, lightning through my blood. That's beautiful. It is that, just as beautiful as when James Clarence Mangan wrote it about his Rosaline 180 years ago. Whoa. But look at this. The fairies are a silent race, and pale as lily flowers to see. That's Samuel Ferguson. Shameless. Absolutely bloody shameless. Darley. Griffin. Aubrey bloody the ver does his thievery know no bound? Oh Have shit! Stolen it all? Every word. Oh, oh, get this. The author reserves the right to be identified as the creator of this work. Damn. He has no shame. The grave robber, little toe rag. I'll have him. <laughs> oh shit! He's gonna go uh, fight him. Whoa! He's running uh, towards him too. Yeah, George is uh, moving on his own, by the way. Can I uh, squeeze in now? Probably I can squeeze uh, upstairs. Good morrow, fair traveler. How may I help you? To the island valley of Avilion, where falls not hail or rain or any snow, nor ever wind blows loudly, but it lies. I... Beg your pardon? Deep meadowed, happy fair, with orchard lawns and bowery hollows, crowned with summer sea. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's very good. Of course it's good. It's Tennyson, you tofu chewing twit. <laughs> From his mort to Arthur. Not the Thomas Mallory one, but we won't hold that against him. Now, do you recall King Mark of Cornwall in that tale? I've read Mallory, yes. But, uh... You'll recall Mark has a big downer on a knight called Tristram, then. Because Tristram took something that didn't belong to him. Oh, God. You mean Melissa? Look, I, I can explain. What? No, not Melissa, you aegis. Is old. Now you've completely lost me. What? Melissa? I'm Melissa is... Possession by the spirits of the daughter, the daughter of uh, the, the colonel, among others. Ah, 
Yes, ah, tis a miracle that you've channeled all these great talents into your little book. Just a shame that did they he kidn- did he kidnap her from their own published works? Word for bloody word. Wait, I can explain everything. Now that was my line. It was also my cue to make a move. Good, you explain. And in return, I'll explain to you the theme of boxing in Irish literature. No, <laughs> let's stay calm. Oh, I am calm. You should see me when I lose my temper. I think we can uh, can interact with them. I don't think they're at anything. My God, you could at least have tried to be subtle. It wasn't so much copying as being... Inspired. You'll know the meaning of the word inspired when I've finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? No, I think there, there's more. You think all those great minds live just to make you look good, eh? No violence, no violence. Why is it taking so long? You skid mark in the knickers of literature. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> My work is so incredibly... These insults um, are great. Similar. It would be a sin to allow you to ever lift a pen again. It's all just a dreadful mistake. You wouldn't strike an artist, now would you? No. You, however, I'll gladly knock around till next Tuesday. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy. What and cramp my style? What? Is that a reference to something? Cramp my style. My god, you could at least have tried to be subtle. It wasn't so much copying as I think, being uh, inspired. You'll know the meaning of the word inspired when I've finished with you. <laughs> I think this is going to be repeated. It's looping now, I think. You think all those great minds live just yeah. to make you look good, eh? Right. No violence, no let's violence. Make her, let's make her move. Oh, is that her? Gosh. She looks so old. Sorry to just barge in here like this. I could have been getting undressed or anything. Guess we were just lucky then. Or not. What's uh, your name? Uh, George, what's yours? Melissa. Have you come to see That's me? Melissa. She looks Melissa? old as shit. Melissa Butley? How did you know my name? Well, your dad's stamping up and down the street like Godzilla, except scarier. Daddy? Uh -huh. Oh my god, he isn't. Oh my god, he is. Oh, he drives me absolutely potty. You have no idea. Absolutely potty? You remind me of somebody, but I can't put my finger on who. Perhaps we were sweethearts in another age. Um... Yeah. Underneath that brash exterior, you're really rather my type. Brat exterior? Uh, can't we, uh... Can't we ask her about the hippie? No? Alright. I don't think she knows anything about, about Omara. There's a guy who does shows for the BBC in front of the pub. We don't do shows in Britain, George. We do programs. <laughs> programs, huh? Have you been to the fortune teller up the street? And what would she tell me? I'm going to meet a tall, dark man with a big moustache and a double-barreled shotgun. He hasn't really got a shotgun, has he? Of course. Daddy's old-fashioned like that. I do hope he doesn't kill Tristram. Probably will. Uh, I don't think she's gonna know anything about the postcard. 
about your dad. I say, you're not working for him, are you? No. Shame. I'd come home today if you were the pool boy. Um, I guess your dad's just worried about you. Worried that I might have grown up? Well, he's too late. I have. And I rather like it. You got a boyfriend? You got a girlfriend? Well, uh, not really. Hmm. Interesting. So, you're on the run? Sort of. Your dad's a real ogre. Oh, he's a pussycat. What? Really? The frothing pit bull terrier type of pussycat. Uh, I really don't think you're, you know anything about this postcard. You recognize this? One of the tour postcards from downstairs, isn't it? It's what brought me here in the first place. Does the name Bruno mean anything? Oh, Tristram mentioned him. He used this room before me, you know. Really? Huh. So he knows. So we can corner, uh, we can corner him at least. Have you seen anything weird while you've been in Glastonbury? Only the people who live here. Only the people uh, who live here? Well, I guess Zazzy is weird. Hey, I know who you remind me of. Do you know a Lady Piermont? Oh, Clarissa, I should say so. Lovely old duck. How do you know her? Met her in Paris a few years back. On one of her man-trawling holidays, no doubt. I say. Did you and Aunt Clarissa? No, not my type. No, you don't have that haunted look her conquest. I don't today. remember. Who is she talking about, by the way, viewers? She's probably talking about someone in uh, the previous game. But, uh, do please do remind me of her because I don't remember. <laughs> How do you know Tristram? I met him at the festival. Aha. He read me his poetry. You don't well, need to tell me the rest. Then he said I could come and stay with him. So I did. You poor kid. <laughs> well, it's not his poetry, by the way. You and Tristram, is it serious? Hmm. Tristram is one of a kind. In fact, when I think of him, I go, uh, you know. The poor woman had been duped by Tristram's lies. I couldn't let him mess up her life. And she was bound to find out sooner or later. Look, Melissa, you hardly know me, but some things are better coming from a stranger. Ooh, is that a promise? These poems. Tristram doesn't write them. They're all copies. Well, duh. Obviously. What? Uh, I knew that. What? You must think I'm totally dim. No, I just thought he'd you, you, you know, put you under his spell. I'm sorry, you uh, kind of look like one. too sweet. George, are you for real? I don't... You've come to save me. Like a knight in armor. Well, that wasn't my original. Armor with you? Uh-oh. became an option. Oh, I could kiss you all over. Hey, steady. Remember the Geneva Convention. Who needs it? <laughs> I don't take prisoners. I bet. <laughs> so, when did you find out about the poems? From day one. I wrote my thesis at Cambridge on Irish poets of the early 19th century. You're very gifted. Try Damn. me. <laughs> and Tristram doesn't know. Did I know? Of course not. Why let a question of authorship get in the way of a good... Yes, why indeed. But, all good things. With Daddy on the trail, I think I'd better split, anyway. Don't suppose you fancy split. a weekend in Acapulco? Jeez, I'd love to, but my Acapulco visa ran out just yesterday. <laughs> well, that's that. What were you doing? Having a little conversation with Melissa. That's private up there. You had no right. Just like you had no right to be seducing that poor girl with stolen poetry. You had no right to interfere. She had a right to know. Oh, no. You haven't told her. Not about the poetry. You can't base a relationship on lies. I mean, Perhaps she kind of knows. Her. I wouldn't advise it. She needs a little time to herself. Then she's going to stay with friends. I took more than a little pleasure knowing that he was the one who'd been duped. <laughs> I call the father. Maybe I should march right outside and tell Melissa's dad about you. Tell him that you've got her upstairs. Tell him that you've broken her heart. You wouldn't. What about that poor, innocent kid? Think what it would do to her. <laughs> he ought to know. Please, 
Oh, God, no, you wouldn't. He'll kill me. You're breaking my heart. On the other hand... Yes, yes? You tell me what I want to know, and I forget about your house guest. Blackmail yeah, black wasn't mail. really my style. And suddenly, I wasn't so sure who was being duped anyway. Very well. All right. Who's Bruno? <clears throat> now will you tell me about Bruno? Well, he, he was here, but he's gone. He upped and went one night. Did he leave anything behind? He was in a hurry. He just grabbed his pathetic belongings, threw them in his bag, and off he went. We well, must have left something. Nothing worth looking at, believe me. Letters, notes, a phone number? No. He took everything with him. Only... Aha! So he did leave something. Well, yes. But what good is an old pair of pants to you? Pants? Give them to me. I found them in the laundry <laughs> pile after he vermouthed. Pants? Did you examine Give them? Give it to me. No. What kind of a chap do you think I am? Excellent. Come on, let me see them. You're a sick man. What are you waiting for? You oh, keep your... man, these aren't pants. Yes, they are. No, they're not. These are shorts. What are you? Some kind of underwear detective? Oh, heck. I'll take them anyway. Ugh. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Well, what can we do with them, I wonder? Uh, <laughs> the shorts belong to Bruno. I didn't want to examine them too closely. We probably need to. Oh, is that it? I guess that's it. Hi again. I don't think we'll be able to go up uh, It wouldn't again. have looked good if I'd gone upstairs when Melissa was supposed to be heartbroken and wanting to be left alone. All right. Uh, I'm going to go tell the father. Yeah, I'm going to go tell the father anyway. Where is he, though? Where is Buckley? Even Omara's not there. Is the pop uh, open? I tried to open the door. No. The door was locked. It wasn't opening time yet. All right. So I guess we can use these pants uh, to give them to uh, to Zazie. She might actually Hello? know something. Anybody home? Oh, that's not where Zazie is. I wasn't leaving until I'd finished what I'd come here to do. Oh, Zazie is uh, up there. I thought uh, this is not uh, still not the, the end of the street. Hi again. I got a pair of pants for you. Or I guess shorts. Another shorts? Alright. You know anything about uh, Tristram? What do you know about that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Them sell candle? Incense? Mm hmm. But the owner, Tristram Hillage, oh, me know him overwrought. There is anxiety in his aura. Got his karma in a twist, huh? All right. Just trying to lighten the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. All right. Got his own karma in a twist. I don't get it. Remember this card? Was me right about the cosmic theory? Yeah, that was where it was bought. I need to find out about who sent it, though. Give it to me now. What? Why? Sometime there is psychic traces. Ew. Psychic traces. We may be able to read the traces left by this Bruno when he wrote upon it. Aren't we forgetting something? Uh, please? You must <laughs> cross my palm with silver. Oh, oh right, sure. 
Okay, uh, I got a credit card here somewhere. Me no no accept credit card, you know. I've got some euros, I think. Me no take euros. Hmm. Pounds? How about doubloons? Gold ingots? A barter stick? It's only silver me accept, you know. <laughs> well, uh, I have uh, this book. What do you think of this book, Madam Zazi? Me see those in the Cosmic Fairy. I like the coins, but me no care for the poetry. Well, I guess that's, uh... That's a hint over, the, over there. Okay, that, uh, you actually can use the coins on... Uh... The book. Okay, I guess I can remove them with a rod. Now I have the coins. The three commemorative coins had come from the poetry book. The book of poems was pretty beaten up now. I'd leave her the coins from the cover. Well, probably uh, we'll be able to to use it still. All right, let's go uh, give her the coins.